96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all the day. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Networks. Mama don't like no rake and save it in here. Now mama don't know the idea of I ain't talking about the way she does. Rake and scrape that's pumping to our veins. We can't wait that she go up. We're gonna rake and scrape inside the stuff. Get yeah, off the neighbor's scream and shout. As soon as mama got the door, turn around like she said, no rake and scrape it on be back after four. Clock on the walls, they have the night. Say, fellas, all we got is time. Not knowing what mama had in mind. Mama don't want no rigging and scraping in here. Mama don't want no rigging and scraping in here. We don't care what mama don't like. No rigging and scraping in me house. Mama don't like no rigging and scraping in here. Now mama walk around the block. We think she's on the bus stop. Listening hard from the neighbor's yard. Just as we start to hit a lift, see bus inside. Didn't think you slick, but back and stop across my lip. Oh, mama say, boy, I ain't gonna lie. From afar, you never sung in tight. Let me show you a dance from way back in the day. When mama start to kill the road, me and the fellas thought she was freaking out. Pick that rhythm, lost it all, boy. This morning, and welcome back to Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, your station for fresh news, smart talk all day. It is Thursday, the 2nd of June, 2022, and you are on the clock with Erin Green. On the clock, we engage organizations, institutions, social and cultural leaders, and ordinary people to better understand the impact of public policy, private sector development, and emerging social and consumer trends. It is Thursday the 2nd, that means it is Culture Thursday, that means it's the day before Labor Day weekend, that means it's a day before regatta time, unless you live in Long Island, y'all ahead of time and y'all been regatta in long time. Ooh. Anyway, mama don't want no raking and scraping in here, so send mama to the regatta so you could do your raking and scraping in peace and safety. Oh boy, what a wonderful time to be alive. Long weekend. Time for the wakers to catch they catch they rest. Ah, boy, but we say thank you to all of those wakers who will be laboring through the holiday to make sure we could enjoy ourselves. Well, listen, this is an exciting show. Before I get into all of the fun and madness, I got a, a couple of important notes to make. I would like to thank Dr. Kirk Christie for joining me yesterday uh, for an important discussion on anxiety, depression, eco-anxiety in the time of COVID and hurricane season. Uh, Dr. Kirk Christie asked me to share his contact information with the general public. And he said, listen, please feel free to reach out to him if only for a referral to services by other people. So it's Dr. Kirk Christie. His email information is info at kirkchristie.com. That's info at kirkchristie.com. You can also contact him on his website, www.kirkchristie.com. Or you can reach him by cell phone at 3590122. And I am going to repeat that information at the end of the show. Now, I know, and borrow a little something from my Trini friends, I know plenty of y'all had regatta to banker. I know plenty of y'all had regatta sickness. I know plenty of y'all been missing, missing the chance to go back to the family island. And not just to go visit, you know, because when you go visit regularly, you got to go to church. You got to go to church, you got to sit with Grammy, you got to hear the old folk. Regatta time, you will see the old folk at the regatta. Trust me, it's a different type of vacation. 
And so today, in studio, I have two guests joining me. Two guests joining me. While the people them down in Baratari having festival and homecoming, June 3rd and the 6th, we were able to smuggle out of the islands of Exuma the one Mr. Sakani Nash. Uh, people know him as Pa. People know him as the fruit and vegetable man. I know him as the director of the Spot 242 for the last 20 years. Good morning, Mr. Nash. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Bahamas. And listen, joining me all the way from deep, 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 deep in the heart of Auckland's a special guest, Miss, Mrs. Anita Colley Vadisia. Yes, good morning, Aaron, and good morning, Bahamas. Absolutely. So we are going to have a conversation about regatta time and from comedy to cascarilla festival tourism in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Now, before we get there, I just got one more important note. I got to say happy birthday to somebody very, very special. Now, Mr. Sakani Nash, you, my fruit and vegetable guy. But I have a friend, and she is the fruit smuggler. She will <laughs> smuggle fruit for you from anywhere she find it. I have to say happy birthday to Nancy Swaby, mama to many, fruit whisperer to me. Happy, happy birthday. I hope you're having a great, a wonderful birthday. And I have to say happy belated birthday to my cousin, my good cousin, Andre Evans, another hasty, oh, another member know. of the hasty Hannah Tynes mm -hmm, clan. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, cuz. Happy birthday to you. Now, it's regatta time. And Miss Anita Colley Vadisia mm -hmm. is here with us today to tell us about the second annual Acklands Island Cascarilla Heritage Festival. July 7th through 11th, sitting in the middle of the uh, festival schedule for 2022. And in part of this discussion, there's a giveaway, right? So before the Heritage Festival, there is a small event in New Providence. And we're going to be giving away two tickets, so a ticket per winner to the Acklands Island Heritage Festival meet and greet. Yes. Right? Yes. And so, I, Ms. Colley, I want to let's start with the questions right away so we give the audience plenty of time to do their research and see if they could win these tickets. Yes, definitely. All right, okay. so let's start with the first question. We're going to give the first question. Mm -hmm. When we get the answer for that, mm -hmm. then we're going to give out the second question, right? Okay. All right, yes. Mr. Nash, you are not allowed to play along. I should tell you that before you came in the studio. You may have sat outside no, and answered. No, I'm, I'm fine. I just got one important question a little later on. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, the prize today is a ticket to the second annual Acklands Island Cascarilla Heritage Festival Nassau Meet and Greet. And the date for that event? That is the 18th of June. Ju the 18th of June. Mm -hmm. And so the question is this, people. What is the scientific name of Cascarilla? What is the scientific name of Cascarilla? And please do not, um, well, do not text answer. This is a call in question. You have to call in, and the first person to get the right answer is the winner. Google going crazy right now. You know that. <laughs> right? And don't call in the show and tell me Dr. Cascarilla is the scientific name of Cascarilla. Because we all, we all going to laugh. So, Ms. Colley. Hi. I am from Auckland. Yes. The people don't believe me because I ain't never been to Auckland. Well, are you coming? Well, listen. I'm going to put you on the spot right now. <laughs> you mean am I coming to the second annual Heritage Festival? Yes. If I could get my swimming legs in order, I will be there. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to seeing and, you. And one of the questions I have is, how do we get there? How can we get there? By plane? By boat? Uh, by mail boat, you have speed boats going down. Any kind of boats going down. Everybody's excited and they're all coming down. I'll awesome. tell you a little bit about the mail boat in a few minutes. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. So I see that light flashing there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tell us about, I, I got two lights flashing there. Already? Already. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so let's go to this first Google, caller. Google, Google. <laughs> Good morning, first 
Caller, you're on the clock. Yes, good morning. I can't hear how you. How are you today? And your guest. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, okay. Um, the, the answer is Madeira Bach. No, I am sorry. That is not the correct answer. But I would like uh, to thank you for playing okay. along. Okay. Second caller, you're on the clock. Do you have an answer for us? Uh, the second caller is gone. First of all, I would like to thank you for his caller <laughs> um, because I like to tell people they're wrong, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I do. And you were so gracious in letting me tell you you were incorrect just now. Okay, that's not the right answer. Madeira Bach is not the right answer. No, so, but you know something? Yeah. Um, funny enough, the Madeira Bach, other name is the Mahogany Wood. And that's, we have that in Acklands as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can tell you all just this little joke. My father <laughs> is descended from Acklands. And if that man wasn't made out of mahogany, mm -hmm. like if he wasn't just tall, strong, dark, and handsome, mm -hmm. Acklands is a beautiful place. It is indeed. Yes, I, I come in. Don't watch nothing. I come in. All right, so tell us about the second annual Cascarilla Heritage Festival. And how is it different from the traditional or regular homecoming and regattas? Well, the idea of the Cascarilla Heritage, the Acklands Cascarilla Heritage Festival came about um, in 2018. We had a team of uh, visitors from the Ministry of Tourism, mm -hmm. led by Jacqueline um, Ramsey. Mm -hmm. And she asked us in a meeting, what is it that we have on this island that we can create a festival around that is different from the regatta, different from the other homecoming, Cat Island has Ray Scrape, Andros had Crab Fest, mm -hmm. Ilosra has Pineapple, what do you have? And uh, the teacher at that time, the principal of the high school, Megan Colbrook, said, well, we have the Cascarilla. So she said, well, that's your festival. Yes. And we, we, oh. we crafted uh, the festival around the Cascarilla bark, all things Cascarilla, um, an exhibition we had. Um, this is in 2019. And, okay. And, um, we had the exhibition, we talked about the Cascarilla, we talked about the pioneers, and we, we, we had um, two days of fun and festivities on the regatta site. Everything Cascarilla, drinking the Cascarilla bitters, doing the Cascarilla dance, um, the race. And listen, if not this year, next year, I invite some of my artist friends down to determine whether we can make a local pigment Right, the color yes. from uh, a variety of reds mm -hmm. from the Cascarilla bark. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So the Cascarilla Festival, um, the very first one we had, went very, very well. We had tremendous um, support from the Ministry of Culture and from Tourism. They were our main anchor sponsors. Mm -hmm. And again, this year, they are on board. As a matter of fact, Tourism has even stepped up a notch. Yeah. And they are excited, and they are all coming down to the festival, yeah. along with Ministry of Agriculture. Right, because if, we, if we're talking about transitioning to heritage festival tourism, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Cascarilla has got to be perhaps one of the best in... Uh, tools, mechanisms to incite yourself into that space. Absolutely. Because Cascarilla is known across the world. Yes, it and is. And so I wanted to ask, is that uh, company sponsoring this event yet? Well, not as this, at this time. We have already reached out to the okay, company. Yeah. And um, um, we have not gotten a response yet. That's all right. We're going to ramp up that uh, request. Be I'll yes. tell you why. I was in London, living in London one year. Mm -hmm. It was the time, I think, that the reggae boys were playing, the Jamaican mm -hmm. uh, playing in the World Cup. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, a Campari booth had just set up in the train station mm -hmm. opposite where I was living. And I went right in there. I said, look, here, I can be honest with you. I'm an ambassador from the Bahamas, and I have an official duty to inspect this booth and make sure that the Campari is up to standard. <laughs> and you know, those people played along with me, and we got a free bottle of Campari to celebrate the Caribbean nice. participation. Wonderful. In, so Wonderful. Campari is the kind of company I think yes, that would, would do Campari that. Campari family, we, we, we're reaching out. We've already reached out, but um, I got another person to assist me. Yeah. We're trying to reach out even more to come through Commonwealth right. Brewery. And the thing that works for us is that, you know, they've attempted to take Cascarilla out of the Bahamas. Not in a, like, not in like kidnap, like how mm -hmm. I may kidnap your son mm -hmm. if I, you know, change my mind. But they tried to take it of and course. throw it somewhere else. And it didn't work. Ah. No, mm -hmm. You know why? Think, because um, the Cascarilla bog, the one that grows in Acklands, is um, we've just had it tested. We have yeah. a cooperative that we formed. We had a botanist came in from, from Hawaii, yeah. and they tested um, the cascarilla that we have for the, uh, for the extraction of the, the essential oil. The oil that is um, that derived from the cascarilla in Acklands is the best 
essential oil out of all the cast gorillas that they're growing around the world. Boom! In the right. world. Mm -hmm. You okay. got the best, again. The best, again. And it's, mm -hmm. it's a testament to mm -hmm. the Bahamian, the principles entrenched in Bahamian mm -hmm. culture that striving through the hard times, mm -hmm. through the rock, mm -hmm. through the salty water and the air, the brackish water, that'll take you where you need to be and make you your best. And listen, I got three callers on the line. I almost forget we looking for I the hope answer. they have the right answer. <laughs> yes. Good morning, caller. You're on the clock. Morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, is it Croton Eleutheria? Now, you could spell that for me. <laughs> Uh, no. That's okay, because that's the right answer. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you were sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure. Awesome. So we have a correct answer. Here's what I need you to do. Do not hang up the phone. Leave your number with the producer. The producer will give it to Mrs. Vadicia. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Vadicia will contact you and tell you how to pick up your ticket. Excellent. Awesome. To the other two callers on the line, if you were calling... To give us the correct answer, we only accept in wrong answers for that question at this point in time. <laughs> but stay tuned. I can need you to hang up because I can't ask the second question until the lines are clear. I'm sorry about that. Okay. I hear my producer talking to somebody. So let's get straight into that second question. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I'm going to call you Miss Corley so Man, I can call remember. call me Anita. <laughs> Ms. Anita. 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 Uh, we got, I want to ask a question about the animals. You okay with that question? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. But my, I saw you had something there, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to do the one about the islands? No, no, no. Okay. Let's do the island. The, so. The, 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 um, the animal. The Planner Keys. Mm -hmm. This is question number two. To win one ticket to the Nassau Meet and Greet for the second annual Acklands Island Cascarilla Heritage Festival July 7th through 11th. That's the date of the festival. Mm -hmm. The second question is this, people. Plana Keys, northeast of Spring Point, is a protected reserve for this animal. Mm -hmm. I want you to give me the name of this animal. And there's another animal that lives with you. If I tell you what the second animal is, you can guess what the first, that's why I can give you this clue. Mm -hmm. They live with the very rare Bahamian hutia. Mm -hmm which did y'all know is the only native mammal of the Bahamas. Even humans not native mm -hmm. to the Bahamas. <laughs> so what we're looking for for the second question, what is the animal that's endangered that lives on the protected reserve on the Plana Keys that is northeast of Spring Point, Acklands? What is the name of that animal? Now, how come none of y'all told me that we had a mammal that's indigenous, is the only native mammal in the Bahamas. Yeah, we do have it down in, in Acklands on Planet Key. We call French Key as well. Okay. And um, um, the, the thing about that is it's nocturnal. So if you go there in the day, you will not find it. You won't mm -hmm. find a hoot here. You have to go at night. You gotta go be bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. is this in Grammy? They tell me that's what I have to do. I can go out in the night. You got a tree down there, you tree crop. Yes. <laughs> right. So is this potentially a part of where the Bahamian Chikchani story came from? I think that's Andrasse. <laughs> yeah, but still, the Hutia could travel. If, ba if Bahamian could move from I don't know, unless they caught it and take it over there. <laughs> I got you, I got you. I... If you all see that flood, you have a very vivid imagination. <laughs> you, you see, Miss Collie, you from Auckland. You was in in Nassau for the last three days when the place flood. Boy, you know how many rats I saw swimming in Nassau <laughs> <laughs> in the flood. We prayed. We prayed that the, there will be no rain when we got here to, yesterday. Yes, good, good, and be thankful for your prayers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us more about the festival. Okay, and how can we contact the organizers mm -hmm. to purchase tickets? Uh, details about accommodation and travel. I just want to say, too, now at this time that a lot of people are calling. I've had calls this morning from all over New Providence. I've had mm. calls from Grand Bahama. I've had calls from United States. People are excited about this festival. And um, Bahamas there, we had one charter that's filled already. We're working on the second charter. Uh, we're trying to, to reach out to a private charterer as well as Bahamas Air to fill a second plane. Um, yesterday, uh, there was some, we were uncertain about the, the mail boat, but Mr. Tom Hanna, he consented last night to me and he said, Anita, I won't let you down. He just purchased, made a brand new vessel called the Provider. 
And guess what? This provider reach, will reach our clients if it leaves Thursday morning that he's expected to uh -huh. by Thursday night. What? It will be late Thursday night. It will be in our clients clocking 40 knots. What? <laughs> Is this a party or what? Oh, so listen, if you can't get on the plane, mm -hmm. get on the boat. Put your car on the boat. You spend your whole weekend in Auckland's. Put your car back on and come back to Nassau. We have the ma the mail boat, the provider, that's Tom Hanna. Uh -huh. and, and, and what he's doing also, which uh, we did last, um, when we had the first festival, at the end of the festival, we did a boat cruise, and that topped off the whole event and he is also doing the boat cruise for us again in our cleanse, the last night after we close out the festival. Oh, so this is going to gonna be Hanna. awesome. Yes. Yes, he is one of us, you know, and, and, and he's really helping us out. And, and less than 24 hours on the mail boat? Absolutely. This is history breaking because, um, you know, I've traveled on the mail boat before. Yeah. And it took, like, one time, but we were stuck for bad weather, like, four days. But otherwise, and other than that, like, 24 hours, a day and a half to get there. But now, yeah, under 24. Hours. Listen, Listen. My, my, niece, my niece went for the first time at the age of five. She went to Meguana mm -hmm. to spend the summer. And she came back with this epistle about how we were on the boat for seven days and 15 <laughs> nights. And we stopped at all these places. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so, okay. Uh, <laughs> in the second segment of the show, I want to talk about that, right? Because mm -hmm. from both the comedy festival perspective and the heritage festival yes. perspective, mm -hmm. what are the things that we need to put in place to take festivals from a hobby business to a sustainable national tourism portfolio? Yes, absolutely. And one of those things is reliable and consistent transportation. Yes. I want a ghost move. Mm -hmm. I want my boss to think I wake in in front of the computer at home mm -hmm. and I want a boat sail into Melbourne or can happen. Athens, Definitely. Right? Yes. That's what I that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so we got a second, we got another caller on the line. We're going to go to this caller. Remember, the question is what is the endangered Bahamian species that lives on Planet Keys, a protected reserve uh, northeast of Spring Point, Auckland? Producer, let's go to that call. See if, if we got a right answer here. Good morning, caller. You're on the clock. Good morning. Bahama Hutia, is that the second answer to the second question? No, no. The two of them live together. They are good roommates. They, they just never fight because one is be out in the night and one is be out in the day. I tell you, it's the perfect marriage, right? You but, stay on Planaki? Yeah, on Planaki. So it's not the Hutia? No. Okay. All right. Thank you. But what to do? Hit the Googles and call back. Hit the, mm -hmm. What is the endangered Bahamian species that lives on Planet Keys, which is a protected reserve? If you'd like to make a call, please. Oh, that was a good wrong answer. <laughs> I like that wrong answer. Mm -hmm. So I got a text here that says, how did the Hannahs get in Landrill Point, Crooked Island? Mari, from marriage. From Acklands to... Mm -hmm. They could have swim over my That's what I was about to say. <laughs> and not only that, um, John Hanna, I, I am told, um, at one point, he had a slave plantation. And he they first started out in Crooked Island. So um, they migrated over to Auckland afterwards. Oh, okay. So that's another story. To, we, this we is to great. About. This mm -hmm. is great. So not all the Hannas related. <laughs> this is good. No, no, this is good. <laughs> This is good. Listen, we got another we, call. We all are, we all are related. <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> anyway, let me get a call on the line. Good morning, caller. You're on the clock. Yes, good morning, Miss Green. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, is it the iguana? Yes, it is the iguana. <laughs> is this 52? Yes, it is. 52, you're too smart to be answering these questions, man. But listen, leave your number with the producer. We're going to give it to uh, Miss Callie, Anita. Anita. Mm -hmm. We're going to give it to Anita. Mm -hmm. She's going to contact you and tell you how to get your free ticket to the Nassau Meet and Greet for the second annual Acklands Island Cascarilla Heritage Festival. Yeah, Acklands, I've been down there before in the 80s, at 89, 88, mm -hmm. all those times. Absolutely. Yeah, I, all right. Uh, the producer, how do I give him the number? Don't hang up. He'll do the rest. Thank you, thank you. Boy 52, I'm so glad it's something I know that you don't know. <laughs> I've only been on this job for two days. I hope you're having a great day, 52, and thank you for calling in. Thank you to everybody who called in. Uh, I think that's 52 that I was going to say. Let's just take this call and see what they're going to tell us, right? But so, Anita, mm -hmm. very excited about the second annual Acklands Island Cascarilla Heritage Festival. Yes. We're going to learn about how to grow and harvest 
the cascarilla, cascarilla. Yes. the conditions needed yes. for sustainable mm -hmm. growth. Mm -hmm. We can learn what you could do with the cascarilla. Mm -hmm. um, I am so excited. Is you know, there anybody on the island farming cascarilla? Right now, we have the cooperative. They have um, the government has given the cooperative one hundred plus five acres to um, wow. to farm the cascarilla right now. Wonderful. Um, because uh, it, what we're doing right now is just cutting. Right. And in not nobody's not just, you know, you wander in the forest, you cut it, and then mm -hmm. you bring it back in. But um, right now we are um, starting to farm mm -hmm. the cascarilla. So that's going to happen, be happening soon. Wonderful. Right. And I think what the, a, the export attempt has shown us is that this process is about learning the land. Yes. And, and, and understanding what the land wants and mm -hmm. what it does. We had the department, the, yes, yeah. of, sorry, of forestry down there. Yeah. And they looked, um, they put a drone up. They went through Acklands from one end to the other. They went over to Samanaki. Um, and um, I think they may have gone to French Key. I'm not sure. But they went through the island to find the best area where the cascarilla grows because it does not grow in all of the area. Right. And one of the, 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 the beauty about it is because we don't have a lot of rain, now, when you try, they've, they've attempted to grow the cascarilla up here in Andros. I think it grows in Eleuthera. Mm -hmm. But because there's a lot of rainfall, the essential oil is not the same. Mm -hmm. And so the, the cascarilla that we have growing down in Ackland. You need that six months of dry to yes. concentrate yes. the oil in, yes. in the plant. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And um, I've had it where I've cut it down, um, cut trees down on my farm that I have. And I... I have trees almost tall as this building that grew like in a year and a half, almost two, two yes. So yeah. it's the condition has to be right. They, they, they don't like much rain. They like dryness, that dry, arid kind of environment. And someone asked, typically, how long does it take for a cascarilla tree to get to maturity? How about three, three years, three to four years. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. I've been growing the wrong crops, eh? I did, so. Absolutely. <laughs> and you know, um, I, didn't, I didn't Google this morning to find out but I do know that um, the cascarilla oil right now is the second highest essential oil in the world mm -hmm. in, co in terms of cost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And look here, I, I, I am just waiting to become an old woman. I want to smell like com um, cascarilla, Campari, and Don't bitterness. Don't worry, you will soon misery. have your cascarilla perfume. <laughs> yes, awesome. Uh, we do. Um, I'm extracting some um, oil right now, and um, I do have hydrosol. Yeah. And um, you can just spritz it on, and now, I mean, it's great. To my right. young artists, entrepreneurs, and people who, like me, are sort of opposed to tourism but understand that we have to use these things to our benefit, right? Mm -hmm. I would like to make, um, in fact, I can say good morning to Sonia Farmer. I hope you're listening. We guys start making some p paper and papyrus. Pa papyrus, right? We got to make some parchment, figure mm -hmm. out how to use the cascarilla bark mm -hmm. to make a high end. Because if I stay in one of these high end resorts in the Bahamas, mm -hmm. I would love in the morning the card says, Good morning, Miss Green, yes. on a piece of cascarilla. We know you, you want to enjoy your misery yes. by yourself yes. this morning. So we leave the tea and the be yes. bread on the side, mm -hmm. just like that. And you have your nice. Soap and your body bath and your bubbles. Right, made with made cascarilla, with ex cascarilla. Yes. extract and that, coconut doing, oil yes, and drink. That right and now. be like, we know you don't like mm -hmm. to bathe, so we've provided you with the finest soaps. Absolutely. This is it. I mean, awesome. It is there, and it's going to happen. All right. <laughs> so, uh, now, Mr. Nash, I haven't forgotten you, you know. No, no, no I'm loving this cascarilla thing. My shit got you, my mind yeah. going. And you know, we yeah. have yeah. some have fantastic move, uh, um, artists, artists that will be down, coming down for the festival, right? Listen, tell us. We have Sweet Emily. What, mm. what, what? There you go. Hello. We have Ebony242. What, what, mm -hmm. what? We have Sugar. We have the Magical Beat Band. Okay. We have Nate P. He will be doing the gospel segment. And okay. we have Blessed, Blessed Mill, I think. Um, okay. We have our own combined choir. I'm trying to get Rupert Cox. Rupert, if you're listening. Rupert and the Rolling Coins, the male guy in the on, day. Rupert, you know his last name? Rupert Cox. He's one the of us. Rupert um, and the Rolling Coins. That's, what's, that's, that's who, that's who sings that? The male guy yeah. in the day and leave an order. find that song. Producer, that's if awesome. you could find that's that song for the tone. break, and then we could transition. Let me know when we <laughs> transition to the break. He played last, last um, the first festival we had with the students, and yeah. I've been trying to twist this arm because he lives in Ackland. Yeah. But he's not, you know, I'm not really into that no more. What about DJ Spangle? I was, Spangle, I, I, I've been trying to read Spangle, but I listen, don't know. Listen, DJ Spangle, I done find your song online last night, Auckland's <laughs> Regatta Time. I done get to the producer to play today, and after we play the meal going today and yeah. leaving all behind, mm -hmm. we can play that next. Yes. You got to perform because mm -hmm. you're from Auckland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
This is awesome. And see, next year, what we're going to have is we're going to have a, um, an ambassador cohort from Justice Garden. See, Mr. Sakani Nash? Yes. He is the minister of works on people's nerves oh, wow. in uh, the government in Justice Gardens. Okay. And we're going to bring this comedy troupe mm -hmm. from Justice Gardens. Mm -hmm. That'd be like behind. You have to go to South Beach to catch the boat to get to Justice Gardens. Okay. We are offshoot of New Providence. <laughs> we coming down to Auckland's mm -hmm. to bring in the Cascarilla, the third annual Cascarilla Festival. Okay, wonderful. We, we, we welcome got, you. <laughs> we got to do that. So uh, before we go to the break, let me run down the list of regattas that are taking place this Labor Day weekend. If you ain't already in Long Island, I don't know if they can let you in. Long Island regatta, June 1st through 4th. The Cat Island Rake and Scrape Festival is now on the Labor Day weekend, June 2nd. That's today to the 6th. The Baratari Festival and Homecoming is June 3rd through 6th. The Pineapple Festival, Gregory Town Eleuthera, is June 4th through 6th. And again, second annual Auckland's Island Cascarilla Heritage Festival, July 7th through 11th. I can go through the rest of the list when we get back from the break. Yes, Mr. Nash? With all them festivals going on, I mean, Nassau will be empty this weekend. Oh, sweet. Ain't no traffic this weekend. Woohoo! That's another type of festival. <laughs> Stay tuned to Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. You're on the clock with Erin Green, Anita Cauley, and Sakani Nash. We'll be right back. When the steam are all round the point, them girls can change their mind. Oh, baby, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Oh, baby, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Them girls can change their mind. Oh, baby, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Oh, baby, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Oh, baby, don't cry, don't cry. I used to think of the bank as my personal ATM machine. If I wanted a new car, new furniture, a weekend trip to Miami, no problem. Just max out the credit card or top up my loan. I was a big baller until I realized that 75% of my salary was going to pay back all those loans. Fidelity's personal financial coaching was the best solution. Fidelity gave me a plan with a debt consolidation loan that has a built-in savings that pays 5% interest. I now only have one low monthly payment, plus money in my pocket. Give Fidelity Bank a call at 356-7764 in Nassau or 352-6676 in Freeport. Visit any of Fidelity's locations or visit a website at fidelitygroup.com. Fidelity, we're good for you. Preparing for a hurricane can make all the difference in safeguarding lives by knowing what actions you should take to reduce the effects of hurricane disaster. Get all the facts of the potential of having insurance, impact-resistant windows, home emergency power, surge protectors, essential supplies, plus so much more before the storm. After the storm, where to purchase building or cleaning supplies, waste disposal, medical care, which auto shop to go to after driving through flooded streets and more. The Nassar Guardian's Hurricane Guide will help to make sure everyone knows what to do in the event a hurricane approaches. Take advantage of this double insertion opportunity plus 15 radio commercials. Contact us today at 302-2300 or your account executives. Will you be prepared? A local paper in Grand Bahama is back every Tuesday as a section of the Nassau Guardian. Available at local stores, gas stations, pharmacies, Western Bakery, and Bellevue Gifts. Daily and, of course, on Tuesdays, too. Want to reach your Grand Bahama audience? Then call Barefoot Marketing at 827-4578 or message them for ad rates via their Facebook page. Advertising opportunities now include classified ads, too. Keep up with all the latest Grand Bahama news in the Guardian newspaper every Tuesday. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. If you believe your boat can sail, but the captain you hire fails, tell them it's got a time. The God of Fever dance says we got a time. Some boats will get left behind. You better make up your mind. 
Good morning. Welcome back to Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. You're on the clock with Erin Green. Joining me in studio, Mrs. Anita Kali Vadisia, Mr. Sakani Nash. And that was DJ Spangle, all the way from Acklands. Now, DJ Spangle, the people don't hear the music. Better shine up your, shine up your shoes, stretch out your fingers, pick up that guitar, and be ready. Because when the people come and ask for you to play, you just got to play that music, because you just got to play that music. Anyway, thank you for reminding me about that song by Rupert Cox and the Rolling Coins that yes. we went out on the break with. Now, I wanted to mention, if you don't mind, uh, the Bahamas Pine Island Project. Mm -hmm. um, Patricia McCollis, Glinton, and Nico McCollis, uh, Glinton McCollis, uh, are lead, lead organizers for the Cascarilla and Silvertop Palm Poetry and Video Contest. Yes. I just wanted to remind the audience, it's for young people, it's for children, a little bitter, but that's okay, a bit like Campari, and I'm happy with it, like Cascarilla. Uh, but the competition, you're challenged to produce a two-verse poem or one-minute video to promote... Uh, a greater understanding and appreciation for the economic, social, and cultural value of both Cascarilla and the Silvertop Palm. Mm -hmm. And if you want to participate in that competition, the deadline has been extended throughout June, I think until June, the, maybe the 19th or the 20th. You can contact creativenassau.com, right? And you'll find the link there on their page, or guanima.com. Com, that's G U A N I M A, guanima.com or creativenasa.com. Now, Anita, tell the people how to get in contact with the organizers to make arrangements to attend this festival. Wonderful, wonderful. And um, to contact us, of course, my number, 429 mm -hmm. 7838, Aurelie Bannaby Pierre at 447 2444. And my good cuz, Patricia Hannah Clare at 557-2176. And once you would have reached out to any of us, we have a lot of other numbers we can pass on to you, mm -hmm. other members of the team that is involved in the Cascarilla Festival. And we have people working in Nassau as well as in Ackland. It's about a, a team member of about 20, 20 plus mm -hmm. um, that is really working together. Acklands and NASA combined to pull this festival off. And that's how it was so successful last time. Right. Now, if I could put my car on the mail boat mm -hmm. and I could put my tent inside my car, mm -hmm. am I good to go? You're good to go. Yeah. I could because find a beach we, and a breeze. Even on the beach. Then, right, the, cat, the, the village, the, cast, the regatta site yeah. is right on the beach. And we have security. We're going to have 24 hours security on the property. Once we would have left it in the night. We have somebody who will be there on the ground until um, the next morning, just to ensure that everything, everything is, is, yeah, people yeah, right. a couple of Nassau there. people come to town. I, I, understand. <laughs> I understand, I Listen, understand. I Listen, I come into... We know how Nassau people go. We used to be a little unruly sometimes. I, I come in to fall in love and teeth a man, not teeth tears, oh, okay? Oh, Jesus, that's so... <laughs> don't, don't tighten up on the security. But, you know, I heard you talk about the poetry. Yeah. Last, um, when we had the first one, we had a competition for the Cascarilla art. Mm -hmm. And using the cascarilla stick and bark in any form, and it was very. And this is extended to the students in the in the school, the high school, and the primary school, and also the poetry competition. We had that last time, and we're having it again this time. And you, I was amazed at the the the, the thought and the creativity mm -hmm. of the students on Acklands and what they came up with with the cascarilla. So when we come into the ex exhibit hall. You will see some of the past work of, of 2019, Wonderful. and then you will see some of the new work of 2022. Mm -hmm. um, we are really promoting our children yeah. a lot in this. They will be participating in dance and in maple plaiting, the quadrille dance, and yeah. um, all aspects of the Cascarilla. We're having a Miss Casca Queen competition, mm. which is... Um, and all the questions are around the Cascarilla. Okay. So, man, it's gonna be it's going to be awesome. All right. Mm -hmm. Listen, dear young people, here's the poem for you. Listen... Dear mommy, you can't beat me with that cascarilla switch. It's too important to put that on my... I'm going to move on to the next <laughs> segment right now. Okay, Mr. Natch. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I invited you here today to talk about festival tourism because I think that we are sort of slunking on comedy uh, as a festival product, comedy agreed, as a part agreed. of Bahamian heritage and culture, 
right? And, and then comedy and festival tourism as a part of the tourism portfolio. I think this is a great blend. I didn't even know you was going to be in town. I thought I was going to have to send smoke signals to Exuma. <laughs> uh, but um, as the director of the spot, right, I know one of your biggest uh, stresses was always managing the cast. Um, <laughs> not just because I know what you mean, yeah. as a leader, um, you're responsible for the people in there, exactly. but because... Your cast needs the right environment to create the magic of yes. an improv comedy very show. Very much so, very much so. And so people don't really think about it, but labor rights and the creative arts is a very complex uh, space. Very much. So whether it's managing a cast or in an, from Anita's perspective, managing a team of volunteers and workers, uh, the, the task is just overwhelming. And sometimes people don't realize how much work it is. It's, it's, it's the truth. Uh, the lucky thing for me, well, I would say the lucky thing for me was I was working, you know, over 12 seasons of, I worked with extremely talented and mm -hmm. creative Bahamians. Mm -hmm. And um, to get people to buy into a collective dream or a collective vision, once they've bought in, then they will work towards what it is to make that the best it is. Mm -hmm. And I always feel it was important to create the right environment for people to feel comfortable, to be able to share. And then once they realize that if they share, they are heard, seen, and listened to, mm -hmm. then they're willing to give their all to make it what it is. Mm -hmm. in, in terms of both the, uh, the comedy performance and the heritage festival performance, when you can't guarantee the best pay for the best work, right? When you know you can't give your workers what they deserve economically, what are the things that have to be in place? Like when you run in, you know, what are the things that you want to be in place? Or you could say to your investor, look here, you may not be able to give me the money on this end, but these are the things that a professional team will need to pull off a venture of this nature. Well, I know for improv, um, what I found key, uh, it took me a few years to figure it out, but what I found key is there was always two cast members that were the linchpin to everybody feeling good. Mm -hmm. And if, you know, if there was one of those two people, no matter the season, it was always one or two members who was like cool with everybody. Mm -hmm. And so they were able to get people to join mm. in. And, you know, because, you know, as in any situation, you have sometimes you have people who just don't like each other. Yeah. You know, different personalities. I want to say but a shout out. if you have that central person who could draw two people to a, a common goal, yeah. then, yeah, it always worked that way. I want to shout out Mark Daniels and Gianna <laughs> Wallace uh, and Leo Ineas. Uh, you know, people who are able to come into a space, right, and exude that energy that makes people flow differently. Yes. But Anita, the same thing, right? Like, oh, yes, definitely. You know, because for me, all you got to do is tell me it could be some raking and scraping in mm -hmm. and some uh, light bear. Mm -hmm. Not, don't be no super bear. That's all I need to be there. I could be there. But for other people, people with children, mm -hmm. people with jobs, uh, you know, how do you show them that you value them in this space when you can't pay them the best salaries? Well, in our case, is um, the recognition comes from when you realize at the end of the day what you have done, that you what you have pulled off. Mm -hmm. In our case in Auckland's, it is how the people benefited, um, how much money flew um, flowed through, through the, the yeah, through right. the community at that mm -hmm. time. Um, last time we didn't have a, a a a a thank you party, but this year after the event is over, even if we can find a small stipend, and that is why it is so important for us to really push on our sponsors. So at the end of this, the day when it's all over, because it's all volunteer, you know, mm -hmm. it's all free. I mean, um, when, when, when tourism started to talk to me about it, I told them, no, I can't do this again because it's a lot of work, you mm -hmm. know, involved, oh, you yeah. know. And um, they said, no, 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 we're going to be there. We're going to back you. And sure enough, tourism came through. So that gave me the motivation to say, you know what? That we me, could do this again. We could do this yeah. again, you know. And um, it's not that they're doing it for pay. We're doing it for love of Ireland because right. we want to see our island move mm -hmm. to the next level. Look how look how Ackland's gonna have to implement a departure tax. 
right? song, yes. Right, for, for, for when the people leave. And, and then don't do the thank you party until all the Nassau people leave. Yeah. Because we get used to the departure tax money to pay for that. Mm-hmm. But, um, but, but then you, you, you understand it. When you leave, you, you really, well, let me say to you guys this. The so Stafford Sands model is let them come, invite them, and come, and then and send them back with nothing in their pockets. We want to drain the pockets. Right. <laughs> but when you do, when you perform correctly, yes, right from yes. the Nash side, mm-hmm. when you understand what it means to serve, yes. there you go, to invite, yes, there you go. right. That when people are leaving, they want to leave. Yes, they call. They call from Nassau to make sure the transportation at the airport is arranged, so they don't have to worry about taxi money. They will exactly. leave it all where they are. Mm-hmm. Well, see, good service is like a rising tide; it mm-hmm. floats all boats. Mm-hmm. So, for the people who volunteer for you guys, mm-hmm. if the festival is good, everybody in the community, including them, will benefit. Of course. Mm-hmm. And Definitely. so, when you see that happen, then you're willing to say, "Well, well next year." I'm willing to put in more because yes. everybody can get more if yes. I put in more. Yes, yeah. And that's, that's the beauty of a collective vision. Yes. And, you know, um, I have this thing. We talk a little bit about em- workers generally, right, employers and employees. I have this thing. I work with food. I sell food. I make products. And so for me, I'm a part of the service industry, and I take that seriously, even more seriously than the culture that we were all in, dipped in at birth, which mm-hmm. is you are an automatic part of the tourism product. Mm-hmm. Right? I've always been a tourist ambassador. Mm-hmm. And so when I interact with people who serve me food, right, I'm very particular. And like I want to say to them, like, look, this is a performance. Mm-hmm. This is real. And even on your worst day, when you're serving somebody food or you're talking to them about the food, you got to perform of and you got to smile because they trust yes. you. Yes. You are part of that chain of, of supply. You are, you like the Grammy who's cooked the food. You are in that process. Mm-hmm. And so that performance that, at that level in, of engagement is so important, mm-hmm. right? And, I, and so I want to always say to workers, like, look here, just, you know, just a little bit extra. But then it's, it's Labor Day. I don't beat up on workers. Why won't beat up on employers and say to employers, <laughs> you've got to create the environment there that drives the best Absolutely. out of your staff. Absolutely. And when you go around places and because we've developed this culture in the country where staff are offended that you would attempt to engage them, mm-hmm. that you would attempt to look them in their faces. Mm-hmm. That, and but you know what it is? And I can say this with all I because sincerity, because they have been conditioned to avoid this contact because people are generally rude Mm -hmm. or they are so stressed, they do not have the energy within them Mm -hmm. to engage another person, whether it's Mm -hmm. personal or professional issues, Mm -hmm. right? And so I understand the worker in that position. So when you go to McDonald's people and the people them don't smile, it is hurt me, you know, it is hurt me. Mm -hmm. I guess it's just say, okay, Aaron, don't say nothing because you know they life stress right out. (laughs) And they know if they, you know, they got to get a better job or something. But employers understand the role that you play in creating an environment for these people. Because the big thing is this. If we're going to take festival tourism Mm -hmm. and make it a sustainable and viable part of the national tourism product. Yes then we have to convince these Bahamians that even on their worst day, even in this imperialist capitalist structure, where like me, you want to say, look here, I overstand Babylon. I ain't saving you today. But that you understand that your power comes from knowing mm-hmm. that you are the linchpin. There you go. That without you, this product cannot work. Yes. Your co-workers, when you get on the job, they smile in delight because they know not only is this going to be a sound, we're going to get things done. It could be a good day. Fun. And because and, and, the people who respect me on the job today, but it is up to the employer to create that environment. And even if the employee comes from the worst home environment, the worst community environment, when they come into that environment, they're either going to thrive or they're going to realize it's not for them. They're going to get uncomfortable and they're going to leave. And then it's your opportunity to to decide whether you're going to try and coach them a little bit more mm-hmm. or you're going to let them go with some lessons. Yes. And I think this is important for Labor Day. Because, yes. boy, I just get mad at people oh, in the too. store oh, giving me... Oh, me too. Because, I don't like bad service. <laughs> right, but, and they don't know. I've been attacked. I've been physically assaulted. I've been stalked. I've had people mess with my food. But still, I stand with the waker. Mm-hmm. 
you know, and I want to tell them, so even sometimes if, I, if the right thing to do in the moment is to not talk to you, mm -hmm. I still have to treat you with dignity and respect. Always. 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 Can't Always. do nothing without the wakers. And you certainly can't have no festival. Nope. You want to go wine up and rum up and thing. Who going to pick up the garbage there when you, you fall oh, out? Okay. There, Who going to go. clean up the island when mm -hmm. you leave? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you go to these festivals, you got to respect the wakers. That's somebody yes. you putting in the wake. Right. Yes. And don't do not do these people like we go into these stores and say, well, I'm spending my money so I can do what I want. Mm -hmm. That is a horrible culture. Mm -hmm. Your people are no, no human, but no Bahamian is deserving of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you come to these islands, you know that these people open up their hearts and their homes. Because mm -hmm. ain't nobody on Auckland's going to let you sleep on the beach mm -hmm. if you don't want to. Ain't, no, ain't nobody in Auckland's going to let no woman sleep outside if she don't want to. And even if she don't, if, even if she want to, yeah. they can say, Miss, listen, between me and you, come, come, mm -hmm. let's go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Understand the communities that you're going in. And so for festival tourism to work, it's not just about an injection of money. <laughs> right. It's about an injection of respect or raising the standard of care for the worker. Nothing can be done without the worker. So we're all out of time. Already? Wow. Already? Already? <laughs> so I need both of you to give out your contact information. So people, yes, Mr. Nash. <laughs> Listen, you're always waking on people's no, no, don't give your number. Don't give your number. But we're serious about the spot. The spot isn't finished. We're celebrating the 20th uh, anniversary of the spot. And we're looking towards next year's independent celebration, next year's Auckland's Cascarilla Heritage Festival. Yes. Um, to be there. Yes. But please give us the contact information again. Okay, the contact for Anita is 429-7838. For Patricia, 557-2176. And for Orly, 447-2444. Absol okay, absolutely awesome. And I said I would repeat it at the end of the show. Contact information for Dr. Kirk Christie, Cell phone 3590122, email info at uh, kirkchristie.com. Listen, we take mental health seriously, right? But if you have to call your boss and tell him, listen, I haven't a little regard to banker. I'm going to need a couple of mental health days. Call your doctor, see if you can get a ticket to Come one down. of these regattas, especially the Acklands Island Cascarilla Heritage Festival regatta, July 7th through 11th. Thank you, cousin. Thank you very much. I'm not going to get kicked out of the clan. I'm very happy. Thank you for joining us My from pleasure. Exuma. My pleasure. Mr. Nash, we're going to talk more about festival tourism and the future of comedy in the Bahamas. Producer, you are the best. I hope they let you go so you could enjoy your holiday weekend, everybody. Stay safe. Stay well. Take care of each other. And remember, we got more time. More time. More time. Stay tuned. Guardian Radio AM is up next. I go to just as a lovely day to spend the day. That's where the people live by the bay. They sail their boats from key to key. Have a key and fans key just to name a This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas.